Hi, I'm Danny, and today I'm here with the Courtship Book Tag. These are all about the different phases of a relationship related to books. So let's get into it. Phase one, initial attraction, a book you bought because of its cover. Now I don't buy books for their covers. I sometimes judge books for their covers, but I never buy them specifically for their covers, but I do buy certain editions of books for their covers, but only after I'm either interested or have already figured out that I like them, whether it's because I've rented them from the library, I love them, and now I want to pick one. But this book actually attracted me to it because of its cover, and that is Stalking Jack the Ripper by Carrie Maniscalco. I saw Audrey Rose, our main character on the cover, uh, holding the scalpel, and I was thinking, hmm, is she a serial killer? And stalking Jack the Ripper. Is she trying to kill Jack the Ripper, or is she Jack the Ripper? Hmm. Uh, I didn't know, but it definitely attracted me to it, and I love what it said in the summary, so that's why I had to have it. And I ended up loving this book. Phase two is First Impression, a book you bought because of its summary, and I'm going to go with A Garden of Stones. The title and the back birth in both intrigued me, and I was trying to figure out what does this have to do with A Garden of Stones, unless they're talking like headstones or something, and it's not until I think about halfway through the book that you actually understand why it's called Garden of Stones. Phase three is Sweet Talk, a book that had great or beautiful writing, and I'm going to go with The Star Touch Queen by Roshani Chachki. This is a beautiful, magical world that has its dark sides, and the writing is absolutely gorgeous and almost lyrical. It is absolutely fascinating, and I know I will be rereading this sometime in the future. Phase four is First Date, a first book in a series that made you want to purchase or finish the entire series. And I'm going to go with Throne of Glass by Sarah J. Maas. This first book, it, it, it was absolutely fascinating. I'd never read about assassins before and I loved Selena and I just had to see how the story continued and I'm definitely going to see how it concludes because the next book come out comes out in a few months and while I am dreading, I am also so excited to see how this ends. We've seen how Sarah, now that Sarah has completed or half completed one series, we definitely know how she writes her conclusions. So I'm less nervous to see it, but at the same time, I'm a little more nervous because while the Akatar series is kind of brutal, this series is a lot more brutal and I'm just so excited to see it. Phase five is Late Night Phone Calls, a book that kept you up all night long. And I'm going to go with The Receiver of Many by Rachel Alexander. I did not want to put this book down. This is definitely my favorite Hades and Persephone retelling and it is beautiful and fascinating and spicy in some parts and I just did not want to put it down even though at some points I started falling asleep after rereading the same sentence three times and I was like okay I'm not processing what's happening anymore so I'm gonna like backtrack like five pages and then just pick it up tomorrow but this definitely kept me up through the night. Phase 6, Always on Your Mind, a book you cannot stop thinking about, and I'm going to go with Empire of Storms. Even now, especially now that the next book, is, the next and final book is so close to being released, I cannot get it out of my mind, not only theorizing what could happen, things I know have to happen, and other things, like are we going to get an, an epilogue where we see them like 15 years down the line and see not only how Terrison but how our troop is doing. I just, I can't stop thinking about it. Even after I finished this six months ago, almost all, near a year ago, I could not stop thinking about this book, especially a year ago because uh, Tower of Dawn came out instead of the final book and I was not thrilled about it, but I was okay with it because it was giving me some Sarah J Mass that year, but uh, I just wasn't too thrilled about it because Kale is not my favorite character. So definitely a year ago, almost two years ago, a year ago, six months ago, I was thinking about this book and theorizing things that could happen, things that might not happen. And now that we found out a huge thing in Tower of Dawn, I've got even more theories coming out. Phase 7 is Getting Physical, a book that you love the way it feels. And I could go with pretty much any Sarah J Mass book because they're all like 
buttery and satiny and I just love the way they feel and I'm honestly afraid that one day I'm going to rub them so much that they won't feel like this anymore and I'm terrified for that day but I love the way her books feel. I could also go with Receiver of Many or Destroyer of Light because they have a similar feel. Actually I think they're maybe a little bit softer but almost too soft in a way and those are paperbacks so I definitely know I would probably wear those out. Phase... what phase am I on? Phase 8, Meeting the Parents, a book that you recommend to all your family and friends. I cannot say that there is one book that I recommend to everyone because everyone in my family has a different taste of reading. Like my mom prefers more religious books. A few of my cousins do like fantasy and I have also different recommendations for them because some of them don't like romance, other ones are more plot driven, more character driven, but probably the one book I have recommended to all of my reading friends and even a few of my cousins is Akamath, but of course they have to read A Court of Thorns and Roses first, which I tell them, but as far as I know none of them have read it yet, though I've been bugging my youngest cousin to read this and as far as I know she hasn't yet, but there are quite a few books that she has read that I recommended that I didn't know she read until like a week ago, so who knows, maybe she's on this or has read it already. Phase 9, Thinking About the Future, a book or series that you know you will reread many times in the future. And yeah, these two right here, both the series I know I will because I'm still rereading them every year when a new book comes out and I'm currently rereading this one. I think I'm on Air Fire right now and so Queen of Shadows will be next and I am rereading the entire series to prepare for Kingdom of Ash. So I know I will reread these in the future considering I'm still rereading them right now. And last but not least is Phase 10. Share the love, who do you tag? I am probably going to pronounce this person's name wrong. And in case I butcher your name, I will link you in the description below, but that person is... At this moment, I can only think of Leslie Cardix. I believe that's how, I, how you pronounce your name. Forgive me if I'm wrong, but anyone else who I decide to tag later on, I will link in the description below. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!